हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू आर ऑल फाइन सो टूडे आर टॉपिक इज अबाउट वॉट इज स्किन टाइप ओके सो वैन वी टॉक अबाउट द स्किन टाइप आई हैव सीन दैट नो मैटर हाउ लॉन्ग अ पर्सन इज रियली एक्सपर्ट और हैज बीन वर्किंग इन अ ब्यूटी सलोन और ब्यूटी इंडस्ट्री बट वैन इट कम्स टू टॉक अबाउट द स्किन टाइप दे गेट कन्फ्यूज इजीली and if you feel that too that you are getting confused to see what type of skin you have then you are not alone everyone feels the same and get confused when it comes to this so we will talk about the skin type the skin problems and uh, then we will see what suitable products are recommended for the skin and how what dermatologist has to say about this first we going to talk about the oily skin among all those skin types like uh, combination normal dry and uh, oily skin acne prone skin so we will go for the oily skin first and see what's the matter with that skin there is a famous dermatologist angela matho and she talks about the oily skin and uh, she also has experienced uh, the oily prone skin for all her life and she says that people with uh, oily skin usually have the open pores like they have large pores too much shiny skin and blackheads and uh, these all are example of the oily skin if you have such problems then you will notice that you have the oily skin according to a consultant dermatologist skin specialist ban astel one with the oily skin don't ever skip retinoids retinoids what they do they there will be uh, less oil production and the re- reduces acne and you might feel that the dryness in your skin and very less moisture for that uh, recommendation is that one must have the um, uh, have a very mild moisturizer to maintain the skin moisture problem with the oily skin is that they are prone to blemishes and if someone is experimenting with the different uh, products that can block the pores or any anything that make it worse then there will be a chance of breakout and products like any moisturizer which is too much heavy and having this ingredients like uh, paraffin petroleum jelly and beeswax they should be avoided as they can uh, make it worse next we have dry skin and uh, let's see what's the problem with the dry skin so people with the dry skin has usually a propensity for redness and scaly patches and very tight structure of the skin they will feel very tight in their skin problem with the dry skin is that uh, there is very less production of the oil uh there is a gland which is sebum which produces oil so if there is not enough oil then there will be a roughness on the skin and there will be no uh, moisture on the skin first thing we will need to do when treating a dry skin is to retain the skin protect protector and which is called the upper layer of the skin and make it clear that you will be stopped from whole load of moisture loss and moisture loss have substances like uh, hyaluronic acid shea butter ceramides and working it hydrate making them more stronger and according to the dermatologist dr mato it is very necessary for one to avoid long and hot showers as they can remove the layers of the skin and the moisture rather than uh, having a warm water would be a good option and keep things spiry
and there must be in your bath routine very mild soaps as they can exfoliate your skin or they, they can cause irritation on your skin as soaps have this tendency to make your skin more dry so please avoid uh, using such soaps okay the next skin type is the combination skin so let's see what's the catch for this skin um, as you can get the idea from its name that when someone has a combination skin it means that someone of the skin some of the skin areas of that complexion can be prone to dryness when there are other areas or oily so some of them are dry and some of them oily this is this is called the combination of skin and there is a classic division is that the dryness is uh, surrounded in the t-zone area there will be a t-zone area which will be shiny and other some of them will be dry so maintaining every area of the skin healthy may be difficult to have when there are multiple needs to provide for so important thing is to keep hydrating combination skin for that using moisturizers with actives such as hyaluronic acids and that is stated by the doctor Astale. As for the sensitive areas, uh, mild exfoliants with uh, less doses of BHAs will be helpful like for instance in those substances which have salicylic acid. So these are recommended. So as you know that keeping a good balance is everything you need and the suggestion is that avoid excessively rich concentration and there should not be unpleasantly rough decongesting ingredients rather opt for the mild uh, formulas and avoid using such products which dehydrate your skin any soap or detergent that cause irritation on the skin barriers it recommends the doctor astigal So next we have sensitive skin and let's see what's the catch for the sensitive skin. Uh, says Dr. Mato that uh, sensitive skin is one of the toughest type of the skin to deal with and uh, it's not untreatable. So it depends upon one individually how do they respond to their skin sensation that indicates and this type of skin is more likely described by burning, itching and facial redness and dryness. So don't ever skip talking about the ingredients. Azelaic acids and niacinamides are considered less tricky to tolerate products like retinoids and acids says Dr. Asdale so needless to say that pampering your skin sensitive skin is also essential and she recommends using heavily rich SPF mineral based uh, zinc or titanium instead of using chemical fillers which are uh, good to go away sensitivity stay clear of what things like since the sensitive skin can be unpredictable at times so you need to look for any boosters that can help you go away from them now the fact is that the fragrance is a true culprit for this type of skin so go for the fragrance free concentration and avoid using such soaps that can cause irritation or redness and all those toners and estrogens and exfoliants should be avoided last skin type we have is uh, acne skin and uh, what's the catch for the acne skin the problem with the acne prone skin is that when it comes to acne prone skin it is more likely uh, reacts on the regular breakouts and that's for very prolonged time says Dr. Astell but keep in the mind that you are not only the one 
so it is a record for approximately 3.2 million gp appointments in the uk yearly and it is not only young ones there is a long list of adults too they are having this type of skin don't ever skip preferably your product need, needs to be named non comedogenic and fundamentally relates that they will help your skin not to clog up on the other hand it's not proven that the concentration doesn't break you out so that that it's advised you have a product that's not labeled at all she further adds opting for salicylic acid uh, glycolic uh, acid zinc tea tree and uh, benzol another ingredients would be helpful stay clear of avoid using facial oil especially those having thicker creamy textures in products states the doctor motto rather than going for lighter formulas would be very helpful it is suggested that uh, there should be uh, taken great care for the waxy hair products as they might lead to forehead acne that's all and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understood everything i mentioned in this video so please like and subscribe my channel and uh, if you want me to make any video and your given topic so please uh, let me know in the comment section thank you